I've been stressed out mainly because my girlfriend and I thought it'd be a good idea to move in together. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> it's, it's like, I love her. I just wish I would have known before we moved in together that she squeezed the toothpaste from the middle of the tube. <laughs> like a bad person. Like a, like a wasteful human being. I wish I would have known, you know, before we moved in together that she put the toilet paper on the roll backwards. And if you don't know which way backwards is, it's you. <laughs> You're a menace to society. If I gotta slap the roll to find out where it begins, you can go. <laughs> it's a lot, you know. When you move in with somebody, they expect you to do better, they expect you to be better. I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> you dated me a regular, I'm gonna stay there. I'm not gonna be, a, if you wanted to, a better person, you should have dated a better person. Right? I asked you for your Netflix password when we got together. Now I'm just supposed to get a job. It's just dumb. <laughs> no, I finessed you. Right? You're with me forever. Ah. <laughs> it's tough when you move in with somebody, you know, everything changes. As soon as we moved in together, she was like, hey, you know that makes you the man of the house now, right? Hmm. <clears throat> That's not good. <laughs> I sit down to pee, it's easier. <laughs> can't be the man of the house. I can't be the man of the house because I'm better at hiding than she is. Not a quality you want in your protector. <laughs> in the first line of defense. Somebody breaks in trying to murder us. She's hiding under the bed like a rookie. Now I'm in the air vent. <laughs> I'll miss you. You were the one. <laughs> I just start pretending to be the air vent. <sighs> I got asthma, so it's not even a good air vent. <laughs> I'm up there like. <laughs> the murderer's like, what was that? I'm like... <laughs> it's not my fault she didn't take hide and go seek seriously. She treated it like a children's game. Now I treat it like survival, like you were supposed to. I know all the best hiding spots in this apartment. Somebody breaks in, she's hiding behind the door with her feet sticking out like a loser. Uh, I hope he doesn't find me. <laughs> No, nah, I'm in the oven, right? <laughs> With the tray already removed, I got a Game Boy in there. I've been waiting for this my whole life. <laughs> Just in there comfy. But I've seen every horror movie ever. Nobody has ever checked an appliance. <laughs> Can't show me a single movie where the murderer's like, check under the bed, check the closet, check the dishwasher. <laughs> no, sometimes they're in the dishwasher, I've seen it. <laughs> I'll be in the washing machine with it on spin cycle. The murderer is like, oh man, he must be doing a load of whites. That's stupid. Don't laugh at that. That's dumb. Don't. Yeah, you deserve better. How mad would you be if somebody found you in the washing machine? You just in there like digga 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 digga. They'll never find me in here. He flips the lady's like get out. Like digga 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 digga. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> Can I finish the cycle? <laughs> Go get my girlfriend. She's under the bed. Uh, <laughs> uh, we see your feet. <laughs> I don't know why she puts up with me. You ever been in one of those? One of those relationships where you're just like, you're dating somebody out of your league and every day you question it. You're just like, why haven't you left me by now? I'm a whole red flag, dude. I'm gonna leave you for not leaving me, all right? This is a setup. I don't trust it. <laughs> I'm getting out of here before I get got. <laughs> oh, I love her. You know, I know she loves me, but I also have come to terms with the fact that I know I'm not her perfect man. I'm not, I'm not everything she wants. I checked enough boxes to where she's like, all right. <laughs> but I didn't check them all. I know there's certain things she wants from me. She wants me to have a beard like you, muscles and you. She wants me to be one of those like men. 
That's how I describe men. Yeah, <laughs> I bench press boats. I don't know what men do. I don't know. Yeah, I change my own oil. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I've never been manly, you know? I've never been that tough guy. I've never had that in me. Now, I know she wants me to be tougher because she asked me to go to the gym with her, which means she wants me to go to the gym. <laughs> That's all that means. She doesn't need a, a buddy. I can't spot you. <laughs> I go try to help you, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> We're both gonna be disappointed. <laughs> I did go to the gym with her once. I tried it. I was like, oh, that is for other people. <laughs> I was like, that was heavy. Do you know that was heavy when you told me to pick it up? Almost threw my back out. <laughs> That's what you want. You want me to hurt myself so I can't make it up to the air vent. <laughs> you want me injured so I gotta be under the bed with you, loser. <laughs> Man, because I'm nimble. <laughs> this sucks. Because I know she wants me, you know, to be tougher, and, and I want her to feel safe. I want her to be confident in me as a man that I can protect her in case anything happens. So I Googled, what do men do? Uh, <laughs> try to learn your secrets. And Google told me to buy a gun. That's what it did. It was the first search result for what men do. It was almost like Google saw me. It was like, oh, nah. <laughs> You gonna need a gun. <laughs> Your gym days are beyond you. <laughs> there isn't enough creatine and muscle milk in the world that could help you <laughs> at this point. <laughs> so I went out, I bought one. I'm gun guy now. <laughs> if that tells you anything about gun laws in this country, <laughs> is that I get to go and just buy one. I get to purchase it legally, <laughs> it's crazy. I'd have respected it more if I was like, can I have one? And they were like, no. I'd be like, good call. <laughs> yeah, that's, you, you, you was using your noggin. Yeah. Who told you? Who told you? It was Greg. It was probably Greg. <laughs> nope. They sold it to me like some idiots. It's interesting, you know, because I live in Florida, so everybody I talk to about guns, they're always excited. They're always hyped up. They're like, woo, got to own a gun in this day and age. Got to protect your valuables. Make sure nobody takes your stuff. Yee, yee. Yeah, problem is that the gun that I own is the most expensive thing that I own now. <laughs> and it's not close. It's my gun, my girlfriend, my washer dryer. <laughs> Which means if you were to break into my house and be like, give me your stuff. I'd be like, this is my stuff. <laughs> yeah, you're looking at it, buddy. Look at my stuff. Oh, you like that stuff? Come get that stuff. You like that stuff? <laughs> I don't know why I would do that with my gun. <laughs> that should be the third thing they ask you when you buy a gun. Like, hey, real quick, show me what you do if you had this. You're like, I don't know, some of this, some of this, some of this. They're like, you know what? Nah, no guns for you. Yeah, you're more of a nunchuck person. <laughs> we gotta bring back nunchucks. Why are we nunchucking people, huh? Never heard of somebody getting chucked to death. <laughs> Never. Nunchucks don't kill people, it just it makes you real humble. That's what it does. Imagine breaking into somebody's, I don't know, dojo. <laughs> They're just like, pop, 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 pop. And you're just like, ah, ah, ah. You know what? You're right. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go get a second job. <laughs> I don't need this. Problem is, when I bought it, right, when I bought the gun, nobody told me that guns don't come with bullets. <laughs> Nobody told me. All right, it doesn't say it on the gun. Nowhere on the gun to say bullets not included. <laughs> I looked everywhere. I looked on the handle. I looked down the barrel. They said not to do that. <laughs> they, were, they were adamant about that. I was like, that's where they put them, right? I thought it'd come with like three or four bullets, like a starter pack. I thought, here's a couple bullets on us. Enjoy your gun. <laughs> nope came with zero bullets. So I went to the store to buy a bullet. <laughs> Found out very quickly, that's not a purchase that can be made. <laughs> I went to three stores with all the confidence in the world. I was like, yeah, I'll take one bullet, please. <laughs> They're like, no, you won't. <laughs> one bullet, that's a sketchy purchase. <laughs> one bullet, that means you got plans. <laughs> Yeah, you're like, yeah. Can I get it engraved? I want to put Daryl on it. <laughs> he sucks. 
I'd feel bad if somebody broke into my house, tried to rob me. I don't own anything, right? I'd be embarrassed. They'd break in and we'd both just look at each other like. Pfft. It's like, this is terrible. I'm like, I know, right? My whole defense would be like, hey, hear me out. What if we robbed that guy, <laughs> right? My neighbor Jeff has a generator. Let's go get him. Let's get that guy. <laughs> the only thing worse than robbing somebody who doesn't own like anything would be if you robbed like somebody who owned too much stuff. Like if you accidentally broke into a hoarder's house. <laughs> right? You're just like, give me it. Oh no. <laughs> Clean this up, now! Clean, clean it up! <laughs> That'd be a way better season of hoarders. That'd be so good. Rather than them being like, so what can you part with? They're just like, get rid of it, now! <laughs> How many phone books can I keep? None of them! Why do you, why do you still have phone books? Well, they're gonna make a comeback. <laughs> Oh, it's tough.